With our last release of FastSuite, we introduced the capability to create our welding fixtures with our fixture builder that is integrated within our OLP software. Since then, many of our customers have taken advantage of these capabilities and they start building all kinds of fixtures that can be designed, manufactured, and used for OLP programming within the same day. This has been a completely game changer for many of the industries that we work with, especially the ones that have to manufacture quickly new designs of weldments or small batches of parts. In Zenit, we are committed to further this capability even more. That's why with the release of 2024.2, we have created even more features within our fixture builder that will allow to create more complicated fixtures, a more reliable user interface, a more responsive feedback to the user, and a more in-depth control or what happened exactly within the fixtures that you get out of FastSuite Edition 2. So let me show you some of the things that we have improved in this new release to make your fixture builder experience even better. The first thing I would like to show you is then now you can save your favorite settings from the fixture builder directly as an export. You can click in the export settings and then save this file as an XML and you can go back in any time and then import your settings once again. So if you have any preferred thickness of plate or any sets of parts that will have or share the same settings for the fixture, it's very easy now to keep exactly the same parameters for all of your fixtures. With the last release of FastSuite 2, we introduced the wraparound phalanges, which are these small pieces of metal that go around the part to keep all the pieces of the weldment in place. Now, we have extended this functionality to include what we call a datum phalange. So basically, it's if you want to keep the part staying only on one side, but if in the other side you require another kind of support, like a spring-loaded support or a clamp, you can disable now the phalanges directly at the start or at the end, so you will only have the part supported from one side. Now you probably also notice that now the fixture changes automatically when I change the parameters for these flanges. This is because we have redesigned the way the update works within our fixture builder and now we have the option for automatic update. This is very useful when you have simple fixtures that need to be updated constantly so you can see the changes automatically. But you also have the option for parameter change and parameter change with play. With this one, you will get notification in the top left button that will let you know when a change has occurred and you can click and recompute manually the changes when you are done with the modification of the parameters. This button also works for a force update if you ever change the geometry of your workpiece or do any changes outside of the fixture builder and you can trigger it manually as well. And the last option also allows you to modify multiple plates without having to update the base plate and then manually recompute the base plate at the end of your changes. One more thing we have done is we have rethink completely how does it work the process of creating reliefs. These reliefs are necessary to extract the part out of the fixture once it's welded. We have now a process geometry relief that works similarly to what we have before and creates reliefs automatically anywhere where a process geometry is created. But we have also created a new type of relief. With this one, when enabled, you can visualize little markers and all the places where reliefs can be created. Then you can simply click in one of these reliefs and you will have the option to create a relief with a square or a circular form within a specific size and with a previsualization that updates directly to let you know how is it going to fit within your fixture. This feature can also create chamfers in the opposite corners and all of the reliefs within your fixtures can have different settings and you will have 100% total control of where they place it. As last but very important is now we have a new micro environment where you can create masking surfaces. These masking surfaces serve as an extension of the workpiece. You can start it by right clicking in any of the edges and selecting create a masking surface. You will have different parameters to determine what shape this masking surface has to go, how much for the base, the length, the radius in between, and you will get a previsualization of how is it looking like. This can be used to create wall offsets or like in the corner, for example, a different radius for the setting. You have ultimate control of exactly how your fixture is going to look and create basically any shape that you need to fit your Wellmet exactly in place. One last thing we have done related to the fixture builder is we have provided now a library of clamps. The clamps that the customers use are practically infinite, but we have provided with a series of commonly used clamps that can be found directly in the FastSuite E2 resource library, and they contain already the kinematics and everything that you need to use them directly within the software. You can also use these clamps as a template for using your own geometry, and you can see the best practices that are used to create a clamp, and they can of course be used in combination with excellent feature from last year, the automatic clamp tower. And with all these new features, you can have ultimate control and create very complex fixtures in just minutes. And let us know if you want to try all these amazing capabilities of the fixture builder for yourself. We're always here to help you.